Deciding to go to Yellowstone in late April, early May came with its perks and its downsides. Half of the roads in the park were closed due to the snow and high bear activity. But there were no large crowds or long lines for the whole time we were there. In fact, some of the trails we did, we never saw another person, and in the second most visited national park in the country, that is a rarity. On our drive up from Salt Lake City, we decided to stop off at the beautiful Mesa Falls in Idaho. We've arrived at the first stop of our trip at Mesa Falls, but the road is closed. So it looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit of snow hiking before we can get down there. morning we got up early and headed into Yellowstone. We got quite a surprise when we saw a wolf running along the road and our first of many bison sightings. This is our first day here at Yellowstone National Park and our first stop is Gibbon Falls. We're at the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone and we are literally the only people here. Probably because a lot of the trails are closed. These are the lower falls. Uh, they're about 300 feet high. That's hard to tell from here, but it's pretty epic. Next, we took the trail as far as we could along the north side of the canyon. Again, we were the only people on this trail the entire morning. We're going to try to get to Inspiration Point, but some of the trail is very snow covered. Let's see if Hannah can make it through here. Many of the trails for the rest of the trip were covered with several feet of snow. Because of the warming temperatures, it collapsed right under our feet several times. Oh. <laughs> Well, we're here at Inspiration Point, and yet again, we are the only ones here. The road's closed, but the trail to get here is still open. This canyon can be about 1,200 feet deep and up to 4,000 feet wide. south side of the canyon and this is the upper falls. We continued along the rim of the canyon taking in the view from each new overlook.
while looking at these incredible panoramic views, it hit me. This is why the park is called Yellowstone. The sides of the canyon are almost entirely made of different shades of yellow rock. It turns out a Native American tribe named this river the Yellow Rock River for that exact reason. So the past couple of days we've been driving past this parking lot and it, it is just jam-packed. We've been wondering why, so we finally stopped. And across the river, over there is a dead bison. And all these photographers were just waiting for a grizzly bear to come out and eat it. They said they've seen a wolf and a grizzly bear already. Now, in the three days we were in Yellowstone, we must have seen a hundred bison, if not more. Obviously, the first couple of days we were super excited to see them and stopped pretty much every time we did. But by the end of the third day, we were like, eh, yeah, another bison. There were several occasions where they blocked the roadway, and let me tell you, they did not care how many cars they held up. They just took their sweet old time. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching part one of our Wyoming trip. In part two, we go see the geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles around Yellowstone. And in part three, we hike some beautiful trails that take us far from the road in both Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. See you there.